Welcome to Yellowstone. <laughs> oh man. It's 7.30. I'm at the west entrance. This is it. There's a lot of this here. Of course it is 4th of July week, which my timing couldn't have been any worse. We'll get through it. So I take a little walk down by this brook here and look at some of these thermal activity here. <laughs> There's one up on the hill there. Pretty cool. The colder it is, the more like smoke you get, the better it kind of looks. I imagine like Old Faithful and stuff. That must look like awesome and like if it's below zero when it shoots out all that steam and it it must look, just turn to like ice in the air and stuff. Here you go, here's another one right close. But what's really interesting is if you look on the ground here, all this buffalo scat. <laughs> it's like everywhere here. You gotta be careful. Boy, this stuff smells like off, like, you know, like sulfur. Rotten eggs. There's a couple more up in here. One's coming out from underneath that big rock. The buffalo must like being around it or something because maybe they lick the salt out of here or I don't know. Maybe they, because they're all around it. I mean, <laughs> it's like it anyway. Anyway, this is pretty cool here. Yeah. All right. Gotta move on. I don't know how good this is going to come out looking right into the sun, but 
It's pretty cool. Roaring Mountain, they call it. You gonna go take my bike? Huh? At least give me a crow or something. Huh? Quack. Quack. Nothing. Nothing. You're giving me nothing. Come on. Quack. Something. Help me out here, boss. Nice little spot here. There you are, sir. There's another. Mammoth hot springs. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty cool. This is a nice little spot here. I don't know if you can see them, but it's like looking right into the sun too. I don't know what these guys are. I think they're I think they're elk. Could be mule deer. I really can't get close enough. I don't know. That does look like that does look like an elk thing. There's a bunch of them here. Pretty cool. This guy's here, though. He's giving us the best view, though. Poor shoe. It's like right into the sun. Anyway, there you go. He's got a couple of birds sitting on his back. That's pretty cool. Oh. Here we are, Yellowstone Lake. All right, this is uh, Cody, Wyoming, rodeo capital of the world, and they're having their big event this weekend. So I stopped in. I don't know if you can see those girls. Wave to me now. I don't know if you can see them inside there, but I went in there, and I just, I wanted to go to this rodeo, right? So all the tickets were sold out i already checked online this and that so i was pulling in here just to like look check it out and look at it and these girls at the ticket booth were there so i went in there and they had one ticket left no lie so i'm going to this event tomorrow although it's supposed to be kind of rainy i'm gonna have to dress up in my rain gear and my my other raincoat and stuff but anyway 
more to come. So I'm, I, I kind of did the Yellowstone, Teton, all that. I'm really tired I, and I'm gonna take, and it's good because I'm just gonna hang out here. It's supposed to be crappy tomorrow. The 4th of July, I'm gonna spend in Cody, Wyoming. And um, you know, it's gonna be great. I got tickets for this like once in a lifetime thing here for me anyways, you know. So it's a big event and the ticket she gave me, she said I'm right by the chute or something where, you know, the horses and stuff come out or whatever. I don't know nothing about it. These girls are saying the seats are phenomenal. So anyway, I luck out again. I don't believe it. So here we are, Cody, Wyoming. Rodeo capital of the world, man. <laughs> More to come. <laughs>